Hello, my name is Stephen Belair, and I am a construction technical specialist with ATG USA. Today, I'm going to do a quick run through of creating forms in um, Autodesk Build. Uh, these are were formerly known as checklists in BIM 360, and now live under the Forms tab in the Build uh, module. So there are two ways to create templates from which you can create individual form instances from. Um, one of those is to use the form builder, which is built into build. Uh, the second is to upload a smart PDF. Um, first, we'll go through creating from the, uh, the builder that is built in. So you go to create template, build a new form. Uh, you can choose a blank template or one of these that are pre-populated. Uh, for this one, we'll just choose a blank template. Um, we'll do this as a safety test for the template title. And we'll assign it as uh, safety. And uh, it is divided into sections and then uh, questions or statements. Uh, so here we have section one, which has got placeholder in it. And then your first question of section one. So we will name this section one test and then add our first question. Um, of the answers, uh, you can select from several different types. Uh, there's yes, no, NA, true, false, NA, plus, minus, NA, or pass, fail, NA. So a lot of that depends on whether you um, uh, configure your questions as statements or as questions. So it can be a, you know, a pass fail for um, a specific uh, characteristic of something, or it can be something like a question like I've typed here. Of the types of responses you can have are the ones that I just mentioned, <clears throat> as well as a text response, a number response, single select, a drop-down response, multiple select, or a date. So here we'll just keep this as default as yes, no. You can mark it as required, which means that the checklist or form cannot be submitted or closed out without the question being answered. Additionally, you can add a signature line, which will require um, a uh, signature to be placed on the either section or um, question itself. So that is it for the uh, builder. Uh, very simple, very straightforward. Um, the more ideal way is to upload your own templates, which um, you know most firms have, have a, a library of, of checklists and um, you know, QC checklists, safety checklists, etc that they use um, throughout uh, their projects. So we're gonna create a template based on a smart PDF that I've already created. And what smart PDF means is that it has form fields within it. So that means that there are text fields like are right here. Uh, there are signature fields, there are date fields, and also checkbox fields, just as an example. So uh, again, we'll go to create new template. It will choose upload an existing PDF form. Browse to that checklist uh, PDF. Upload it. And we'll select commissioning as the type. Uh, and you can automatically include the weather as like a weather stamp. I always like to do that. Um, I'll enter my, my location where I am currently. Update that. Uh, so now whenever a instance of this form is created, it will automatically have the weather on it at the time the form is created, as well as a um, text box at the bottom where you can include notes that may be relevant to the list. Uh, for this um, instance, we're gonna choose just single contributor. What that means is that just uh, one person starts the checklist and goes through and completes the checklist.
Once that is created, I now have my uh, checklist that I just created. I can do a new one. You'll see the weather is right there. And now I can simply fill out um, all of the fields that came through from the PDF. And uh, just like that, uh, simple as that, that is how you create uh, checklist forms. Thank you.